This is Bumper to Bumper TV. It's not too often when automaker A admits it designed and built a vehicle to compete with a model from company B. Well, in this case, company A is Ford, and the company B of the equation is Toyota, specifically the Prius C platform. Ford thinks the C-Max matches up well against the Prius C in both traditional gas hybrid and plug-in electric configurations. The C-Max, like other C-platform crossovers, has a profile that resembles a ladybug with wheels. In this case, it provides a pretty decent space for second row passengers who actually enjoy workable headroom. Front seat passengers get the royal treatment with plenty of space and excellent sight lines. As for cargo, the C-Max has 24 cubic feet of cargo in the traditional setup. In the plug-in electric, that's reduced to about 19 cubic feet since the battery pack needs more room. For the record, the C-Max has two power plant setups. The traditional hybrid is a 2-liter Atkinson Cycle 4-cylinder engine combined with a 1.4 kilowatt battery. It has a combined output of 188 horsepower and 129 foot-pounds of torque. The plug-in electric version uses the same engine but has a 7.6 kilowatt battery for a longer electric range. Our test was with the traditional hybrid and its performance was not disappointing. However, on a road trip, the C-Max came up short of the touted 47 miles to the gallon. Of course, we averaged 75 miles an hour over mountainous interstates. For anyone who has ever had experience with a Ford over the past few years, the interior layout will be familiar territory. In the C-Max, Ford took a design that is successful in Europe and loaded it up with hybrid technology for the North American market it might be one of the better examples of creating a worthy competitor to the Prius C. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper tv at cs.com.